Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of RV Business Capital Talk, sponsored by Eric Sell. I'm Rick Kessler. With me, as always, Sherman Goldenberg. We're both from RV Business, and joining the two of us today is Brett Davis. Brett, of course, is the president and CEO of National Indoor RV Centers, NIRVC. Uh, six locations now after this week, right, Brett? That is correct. <laughs> Let me get this right here. Um, five locations previous, Louisville, Texas, Lawrenceville, Georgia, North Las Vegas, Surprise, Arizona, Manassas, Virginia, and now after what, uh, next few days, it'll be just outside of Nashville in Lebanon, Tennessee. You're correct, Rick. That's headquarters. Headquarters where, Brett? Louisville, Texas. Okay. Yes. Suburb of Dallas. So before we talk about this week's grand opening outside of Nashville, Brett, if you don't mind, give us a quick uh, summary of NIRVC. Um, I know you like to claim a, a concierge level of service, but, but what does that mean? Well, what we've tried, our mission, if you will, Rick, at National Indoor RV Centers has been to continually try and strive to enhance the RVing lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And that started with a one-stop shop where you could have indoor storage, all your service, all your collision or paint and body, washing detail, all in one place. You didn't have to run all over the Metroplex scheduling different appointments. We've continued to add on to that through our proprietary safety products of Protane, fire suppression, and RetroBand, our run flat device. We've added on to it with our all inclusive motorhome club, the AIM Club, where I charged our events team when we created that motorhome club that at each rally to try and create a memory that no one there could create on their own. And they've been very successful at doing that. Um, so whether it's living the lifestyle, safety, storage service, you name it, we're, we're doing the very best we can to try and enhance the RVing lifestyle. Have you been a part of it, Brett, since day one? Yes, I founded the company. Um, we opened our doors at the end of 2009 in Louisville, Texas. Actually broke ground on that building in 2008, the very week Lehman Brothers went under. And uh, I know I'm attributed for owning NRVC, but it's actually a trust for my children that owns the majority. And I then try person okay. The trust for my children owns controlling interest in uh, national and the balance is owned by managers and a couple of uh, long, long time uh, partners that I've invested with over the years and they've invested with me over the years since my career of 40 some years has been that of an investor slash fund manager. A truly unusual, any way you look at it, uh, undertaking, isn't it? Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The beauty was we started with a clean canvas and we get to do with it as we wish for better or for worse. But uh, yes, yeah, very entrepreneurial compared to investing or, you know, spent my life trying to buy dollars for dimes. One of the things that, uh, that I like about this, uh, about your business model is uh, if I'm the class A owner or mostly class A's I know, but if I'm the RV owner uh, and I have my RV in your storage facility, I can call you up and say, hey, I'm going to be by, uh, you know, next weekend to go pick it up or to come pick it up. And then you'll have it washed. You'll have it ready. You'll have the systems check. Um, like I've said, like you say, concierge level of service. That's pretty cool. That's correct. You can call, email or text us. And um, we have our own proprietary coach location system and barcoding, which is really a database. So it really doesn't matter. Folks pay to store with us, but they'll store their coach, say, where I'm at right now at our Atlanta facility, if they're traveling southeast. Next year, if they're traveling out west, 
They can store it at Las Vegas. They can store it wherever. It is amazing. But our valets can scan that barcode, and it has all the information that you want as a coach owner on your coach, meaning we know what to air the tires to for each of your axles because – we do free four corner weighing and we've agreed on what the weights or the tire pressure should be for each axle. Fill your fresh water tank. The unique things are most folks like to have us wash the front cap off when they return, get the bugs off. They like to have the coach completely detailed when they leave. But there's a myriad of other things from filling their fuel tank to washing their car if they leave it behind or washing and changing the oil doing to their car so they don't have to go elsewhere to get that done. It's all right there in the barcode and our valets know as soon as they scan it, regardless so, of which location you're at. That's so Brad, right now is a big moment uh, for your company in uh, centered around a new store, as I understand it, in Nashville uh, area. That's correct. Lebanon is just, I don't know, 20 minutes east of Nashville. Outside Tell us about the this. Well, we're in Lebanon, Tennessee. We're right on I-40. You can't miss us um, if you're driving along I-40. That building has cells, service, and storage in it. And then just a couple of miles away, we purchased a uh, standalone dedicated paint and body facility oh. for all of our paint and body operations. So you're having a, you're, you're having a rally and a grand opening here. Well, yeah, it's a grand opening, but uh, to the extent we had space, we invited customers to come and they registered and we have a lot of them <laughs> descending on us as we speak. Well, Brett, you were telling me earlier that you've got so many people coming, you've had to call in technicians and valet personnel from your other locations just to handle this load. That's correct. We have brought in um team members from other locations to make sure this goes smoothly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I realize our locations have anywhere, usually between 550 and 600 coaches on them already. And uh, you add another couple of hundred coaches to the mix. That's a lot of moving around. So it requires a lot of valets. You've got a club that's become really well known, but this is not a club function in Nashville. Yeah. No, this is not a club function. This is just National Indoor RV Center's grand opening of its Nashville location. A three-day event. Correct. Correct. And any truth to the rumor that you're going to get up on stage with Lee Greenwood and sing with him? <laughs> Absolutely no truth. <laughs> not even at gunpoint. <laughs> But he is one of the highlights. Um, you also have seminars. You'll also have, uh, I'm sure, all kinds of, of uh, camaraderie, social activities and whatnot. Um, but we'd be remiss not to also point out you have uh, quite a few manufacturers setting up some displays out there as well. Yes, we, uh, my goodness, Rick, it's, yeah, it's all the food and drink that you could possibly want and then nightly entertainment. But uh, no, as, as a company, it's, I don't know if it's flattering or to me, it's very humbling the, uh, the outpouring of support from our manufacturers who are attending. I, I was stunned to see those, the executives who are coming. It was really, really heartwarming. It, uh, rumor has it that, that if we're on uh, this uh, collective uh, call, uh, this video right now, that you might have a, a an announcement to make uh, to the industry, to your sphere. Um, can uh, we uh, expect to hear uh, that announcement? Certainly. Um, we're just, again, trying to advance the RVing lifestyle. Uh, I personally know what it was like for 30 some years to go shopping for an RV, um, a motorhome. 
I would either drive or fly all over creation. In fact, the last coach I purchased before starting National Indoor RV Centers was, I flew to Sacramento to purchase it. That makes it difficult to go shopping. So <clears throat> what has emerged, as you're well aware of, is what I would call for profit shows. Some of the larger ones being the Tampa show and the uh, Hershey show. Or a shopper can go and see all the Class A motorhomes. Um, but those shows are anywhere from four months to eight months into the model year. They are for profit, so they're very crowded. And if I'm shopping, as I have in the past for a coach, you know, I have to stand in line to get into some of the coaches I want to look at. So what we're offering because of the Nashville location and all of the Class A's, Many of the Bs and Cs, but all the Class A diesels it represents. Uh, we're starting an annual. Uh, I'll call it's a VIP shopping experience. It's called Music City's Motorhome Expo. Uh, the fairgrounds are four miles from us. We have bought out the fairgrounds for the first I think it's ten days or so in June of 2024. We've got a few days to set up, and then the event is four days and a few days to take down. But I think what really sets it apart, Sherm, is several things. First, this will be the show that the new model year is introduced every year. All of the manufacturers have agreed to that. So if you're a serious shopper of a new motorhome, you can come to this show the first part of June every year where the weather is beautiful um, there in Nashville and see the new model. Secondly, there will be full displays of each manufacturer with all the models and floor plans set up. Again, much like the shows folks have been to. The difference is we will be serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner each day mid-morning, mid-afternoon snacks, you know, ice cream, brownies, that sort of thing. Basically all the food and drink you would want. Evenings, uh, we'll be utilizing seven of the buildings on the uh, fairgrounds. One of them, we will treat everyone to a free concert each night from name brand artists. Um, so they will have access to the new models, floor plans, the design centers there, unfettered one-on-one -on -one access with the manufacturers, not only the motorhomes, but all the major components where they won't have to stand in line. I don't want there to be any confusion here. This is not a rally, nor is it a for-profit show. Um, it is a VIP shopping experience for those who have determined that now is the time they want to buy their motorhome. Huh. And we're doing our best to pre-qualify them okay. so that we don't, we don't want thousands of people here, Sherm. And the best way we knew how to pre-qualify them is through money or a deposit, if you will. Mm -hmm. So this first year we'll be charging $1,500 a coach or $500 a head for a day pass. However, if you purchase or order a coach within one year of attending the event, all that money is refunded to you. So yes, all the food, drink, entertainment, it was all of no charge to you. And since it's a not for profit show, the cost of this is not being added to the units, rather it's being picked up by NIRVC and its sponsors. So we would expect somewhere between, I don't know, 300 to 600 folks. And 
manufacturers know, everyone knows that who they're talking to in front of them is a purchaser. It's not someone who was looking for something to do with the family that day or that weekend. Um, yes, there will be seminars each day by all the manufacturers. So you may have gone there looking or had in mind one coach, something else caught your eye. You can sit in on that seminar and ask all the questions you'd like from your product development team or engineers, uh, all while being catered to. Uh, here again, uh, original thinking. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a, a, a new look for a, you know, it's not technically an open show, is it? No, no, and I think it will be a, uh, I think it's going to be a win-win for everyone, sure. I think it's obviously a win for the consumer because I don't know of anywhere you can come in a relaxed environment see it all and communicate one-on-one -on -one with all the manufacturers, be it motor homes or components. Right. So I think it's, that's a win for the consumer. For the manufacturers, I think they're going to see a significant return on their investment. These other for-profit shows, and heavens knows, I know, they're hugely expensive. Uh, what they sell the space and the electric for to manufacturers and those of us who display. Uh, that's not going to be the case with this show. Um, manufacturers are committing to introducing the new model year, to bringing their displays, which they take to all their big shows, to providing uh, factory support in terms of product development. Um, we will be providing special show pricing so that people know that they're not paying for all of the food, drink, and entertainment yeah. while they're shopping. So for a manufacturer, transporting a couple hundred coaches it's five and a half hours to Nashville, so it cuts that down tremendously. And if if they commit, which they all have, to the other, then no, we're not charging the manufacturer. So truly, they no longer have a half a million to a million dollar break even to try and cover a show. It's They should be putting money in their pocket right from the very first sale. Is your aim a motorhome owner group or your owner group um, going to be part of this? Are you integrating their function into this? Well, be careful there. This is not a rally or an aim function. Okay. But yes, our event staff, because it takes a staff, <laughs> the event staff who does put it on our AIM rallies, they will be heavily involved in putting this show on. I would think. In fact, they already have been. I mean, we've we've got a lot of money out in deposits. We've contracted for the fairgrounds, for a lot of the food, um, three of the four nights concerts. I mean, we're, <laughs> this is well down the road, Sean. <laughs> Time frame is similar to now a June, you're saying? Yes, I, I believe it's June 4th through the 7th. Okay. Okay. I, folks will be able to. It's Music City Motorhome Expo. There's a website. There's a place for them to uh, sign up, register. Um, and when they go to do that, if I'm off by a day or two, sure, it'll be there. But I think it's June 4th through the 7th, 2024, for our first annual show. Brett, this is, yeah, as stunning as the word I was going to use, too. What what just a bold, bold announcement. That's, uh, again, like Sherm said, forward thinking. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, always so kind, but... Uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it's a success. I hope it is, obviously. But it'll be a one or a zero, and we'll find out in a year. 
do you see it, Brett, as a as a leap of faith? Uh, yeah, I'd have to say so because it's never been done before. Right. Um, then again, each piece of our business model has been a leap of faith. I mean, it's what entrepreneurs do. Yeah, whether yeah. it was uh, trying to integrate it all under one roof. Believe me, bringing we have nine different revenue streams. Trying trying to bring those together as one seamless service. That's not easy. That took a while to nail before we could scale it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a dealer having a motorhome club was a clear leap of faith, <laughs> uh, and it's. We've been rewarded very well for that. So, no, this show is certainly, it would qualify as a leap of faith for sure. Yeah. You reminded me of one other question. So, this event next June is going to be indoor and outdoor? Correct. Okay. You suppliers involved at all? That's what I meant by the component manufacturers. Okay. I'm sorry. So, yes, they will all. We have a number of the major components already signed up to be there. So you'd be hard pressed if you're truly shopping for a motorhome to not have access right to the manufacturer of any unit or any component. We want the goal is to make it all available to you for a shopping and informed decision, all by getting a VIP experience while you're shopping. Brett, well, at, at the risk of repeating yourself, um, did you mention this is all motorized or, or diesel pushers? We represent in Nashville all the diesels, but no, it would be all Class A's. And while we don't carry all, there's a, there is a lot of B's and C's. We do carry what I consider to be the high end is of all the B's and C's and no, they will all, they are all participating as well. Wonderful. I, 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 I speaking for myself, I'm looking forward to it. Hope we uh, get a quiet uh, invite here. <laughs> Kessler and Goldenberg. Uh, you're invited <laughs> right now. Consider Thank yourself you. invited. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Cause Sherman does want to get up on stage with, Lee Greenwood or whoever you might that's have. That's what I do. Room. Yeah, that's what I do, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll make sure that we let you uh, do a duet with one of the performers <laughs> oh my <God>. or one <laughs> of the groups. There's a couple of them they've got signed or groups. So, <laughs> so Rick, you think we're going to let him off the hook here? I think so. Brett, um, again, NIRVC, forward thinking, bold announcement. Um, a leap of faith, yes, but... Uh, obviously a, a very confident leap of faith. Well, we certainly have our fingers crossed. Uh, a good chunk of the money's already out the door. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. We, have, we appreciate the heck out of it, man. And, yep. and uh, look forward to working with you on this new venture. Thank you so very much, Sherm. Really appreciate it. Rick, take it away. Brett, thank you one more time. On behalf of Sherman, always appreciate it. Good talking to you. Likewise. Thank you very much.